the concept of time binding, which is that language allows information to accumulate more and more rapidly as time passes. Now, that's a commonplace thought, but when Kosciuszko wrote it in 1933, it was a totally unexpected thought, and he was attacked by the evolutionists for implying there might be such a thing as progress instead of just random chance. But what Kosciuszko meant was that uh, due to language, I can receive signals from Confucius. Um, I, get, I can receive signals from Heraclitus, Plato, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I can receive signals from the latest scientific publications that are online. And so uh, as time passes, more and more information becomes more and more available to more and more people, which means more and more changes in technology, which means more and more changes in society. So I read Kozybski around 1950, I guess. And the last 50 years have not surprised me at all. I've, I, I've been expecting rapid changes in the last year. All of a sudden breakthroughs, I've, I've been expecting them all along. Uh, now the acceleration of information has reached the point where I think it's totally out of control and nobody can stop it. Uh, the only way they can stop it is by forming a world government of a totalitarian nature. And the people who most want to control communication are the people who are most afraid of world governments. So, won't, so they'll never get together to form a world government. So they'll always be. Freedom is increasing all the time because on internet you can publish anything. And if they stop you in one place, you just root it through the Netherlands and it comes right back <laughs> onto the web in the United States again.